Hey, this is Toby Ryan, and I'm back with another tutorial on how to sample in GarageBand. And today I'll be using the new GarageBand 10. You can find that on the App Store. Uh, let's get started. First, we're going to click this plus sign. Brings us up all of our instrument choices. We're going to choose Software Instrument. Double click. And it'll give you all these presets down the left side. Click the Legacy Presets, GarageBand, and down to Sound Effects. I'm going to choose Applause and Laughter. Should be a little dog. There we go. And I'm going to bring up our musical typing. And uh, if you look in the bottom left hand, you're going to see this little details tab. Go ahead and click it to expand it. And yay. OK, what makes this really cool is you can actually open up your loop library now up top right and choose from the loops. You can uh, I'm going to choose, let's say, Electro House and pick one that I like. All right, I like that one. Um, before I, I uh, mess this uh, applause and laughter up, I'm going to go ahead and save this as a new instrument. So bottom left here, there's a little button that says Save. And I'm going to call it Sampler. I see I already made this one here. So it'll give us uh, extra dialogue say, hey, you want to replace this? Yeah, sure, I'll do that. All right, cool. Now we're ready to go. I'm going to move this up top. This is our zone selector. This is going to give us uh, a range of a keyboard. So if you have a MIDI keyboard and you plug it in, you're going to be able to have this entire range, all full 88 keys of awesome sounds that you're about to plug in. But this zone right here allows us to move. You can even use the Z and the X keys to kind of jump back and forth here. And uh, what this allows us to do is drop in uh, samples just by clicking and holding and just drop it on a letter. And I'm going to go ahead and just drag in a couple of these across this. Let's go ahead and drop in a bunch of these. Awesome. All right, so. So you can see here real quickly, you can be real creative and just drop in a whole bunch of loops and just go crazy. Now the second part of this tutorial is going to be a little more advanced, and that's what we call chopping up the sample. So if there's a specific phrase of, let's say, this one, and you wanted to have a, a certain part of that, all you have to do is find that sample. You'll notice it's a little bit different key, and I think right now it's going to change depending on what we have up here. Like for instance, that's the, that's the, the, the B key. So what you would do is just you would kind of match that and it should. There we go. All right, so that keeps it in the same key as the original sample. But if you change it, like for, for instance, let's say C major, it's going to change it on your musical typing as well. Notice, it's pretty cool. All right, so I'm just going to change this back to B major to match our um, samples that we drag in. Cool. All right, so once we have that set up, let's start chopping up our sample. So this one right here. All right, click and hold, drop it onto this middle section here. And this little slider up here, you can slide and find the waveform and see it a little better. I'm going to close our loop library so I can have some more room here. And I'm going to drag what's called the playhead into the area that I want to chop. And for instance, right here, I can end it Command T, and that should chop it right here. Where this is, what this actually is doing is just split regions at playhead with Command T. You can find that up in the Edit menu. And so I just drag this little playhead and find the phrase that I want. For instance, this section for right here, Command T, and then just click and hold and just drop that specific sample on there. So you can kind of see where you can get a little more creative here. Now I'm going to use uh, Option, Shift, and then scroll my mouse. It's basically the hot key to move this little guy right here. Option and Shift and scroll. So I can kind of get out here. I'm going to move my slider and grab a couple different phrases further ahead. Select my clip, Command T, and drag it in. Awesome. So now you can get specific phrases, chop up your samples. Uh, you're not limited to 
your loop library here, you can drag in, you know, uh, your sample packs that you've bought on the internet or just, you know, you just found free samples. You can just put those in, just drag them in here and just drop them onto your uh, sampler that we saved here. And once you're done, make sure you save sampler, just kind of save it again and replace over it so you can keep all your samples there. I'm going to press uh, Command K to show musical typing. That should bring this up again. And then you just start playing. So that gives you a little more flexibility when you're using GarageBand. And uh, yeah, that's about it for this one. It's later, guys.